<clears throat> Praise God, hallelujah. Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth of the Assembly of Brethren USA. How are you, God's people? I want to remind you that Jesus Christ of Nazareth still loves you <clears throat> and he still loves me, okay? No matter what the devil has done, we are loved by a God whose mind cannot be changed concerning our lives, okay? I really want to talk to somebody today about a quick topic. It is summoned by demons. Have you ever experienced summons? You know the court system that is run by humans when they want you to come over to the court or they want you to come and appear somewhere they would issue what is called a summon a citation that carries what your offense is then the judge can summon you and say come i need to see you all right this can happen to you a summon <clears throat> can happen spiritually where demonic powers and demonic spirits of the underworld can invoke your name and invoke your spirit i know one criminal in the past once one satanic agent who used to do it i i've been to places that god will say kenneth i am not here don't be deceived okay they some they call your full names they summon you in the spirit and they try to tell you in that realm what they want you to do and how your life should end and they also can project sickness on you by summoning your spirit man this is why you have to stay in prayers every blessed day of your life while I started living in the United States, I started to see men and women who are under the influence of witchcraft, under the influence of madness. Somebody has summoned your spirit and either gave you food to eat spiritually, water to drink spiritually, or they summoned you for death. All right? When God has equipped your spirit man, the spirit of god in man the bible say it is a candle it searches the inward parts of the belly if you were summoned any invocation by anybody anywhere in the world man or woman boy or girl whether they call themselves pastors prophets whatever title they be if they are not of god and they are using your name for charms for deception for deceit they want to kill you. They want to ridicule you. They want to mock you. But they first summon you in the spirit. And they are calling on some demonic powers to attack you. Every time they are call your name. This is what you should do as a child of God. Ask the blood of Jesus. Ask Jesus to appear on your behalf. Hey, Father, any man or woman that summons my name in the spirit or in the physical when they call me you will see the face of jesus you will see his appearance as recorded in revelations chapter one all right i told the church i said we are heading to some dangerous days there are divinators sorcerers behind the pulpit thieves and liars and destiny killers slow poisons you know Slow people who are slow poison, silent killers behind the pulpit in these last days. Be prayerful. All right. Do not let any spirit enter into your body contrary to the Holy Ghost. All right. So I want to pray for you, child of God. I want to pray for you. See, Heavenly Father, any man, I pray for myself also with this Bible on my head. Any man or woman who is of the underworld, a witch, a wizard, 
a divinator, a sorcerer, a voodoo priest that lies and summons people's spirit using candles to pray, using incense to pray. Where they burn incense and use it to summon the names of people. Where they pray with dummy, baby dummies. You know these dummy babies that people sell? They use it to do evil prayers. Holy Ghost, I decree and declare that every evil that went on in the spirit realm against my life, your life, this yoke, these curses are broken in the name of Jesus. Go to their houses, go to their churches, go to their family, scatter their plans, Lord. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you.